i addition in algebra can be studied in two parts first is addition of of like terms and second is addition of unlike terms okay so let's first learn about addition of like terms okay first we learn about addition of like terms so before uh, going to the addition of like terms in algebra let's first discuss an identity which we have learned in i think third standard it says a multiplied by b plus c is actually is equal to a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by c what it actually means is if you want to add two numbers b and c and then multiply the sum by a which is nothing but you multiply this b by a b by a and then multiply c by a multiply the c by a and then you add them okay isn't it like 3 multiplied by 5 plus 2 is actually equal to what they are saying is 3 times 5 and then 3 times 2 and finally you add. So let's solve both the sides. Here it is 5 times 2, 5 plus 2 sorry, so this is 7. 3 times 7 which is equal to 21. What is 3 times 5? 3 times 5 is 15. And 3 times 2 is 6. And if we add them, we get 21. Which are equal. Right? So what we can conclude from this? This identity is called distributive, this property of addition is called distributive property of multiplication over addition, right? If we have, if something has to be multiplied by the sum of two numbers, we can multiply the first number by the number which is written outside and we can multiply the second number again with the number written outside and if we add them we will get the same value if we perform this first function first operation as it is written first performing this addition of bracket and then multiplying that by the number written outside so now you must be wondering why am i talking about this Let's first, let's first erase this. We are talking about this because as we all know in algebra we deal with terms which have both constants and variables. And constants and variables are written in quick succession. And if they are written in quick succession, they are actually meant they are in multiplication. Like if we write 3x which is nothing but is equal to 3 times x okay right we have learned this 
many times in earlier videos. So let's write a few terms. First, uh, let's write 3x, then 4x, 5y, 6y, 8xy and 9xy so what we are learning first first we are learning the addition of like terms okay so let us add 3x and 4x what will be the value of 3x plus 4x as we know 3x and 4x are nothing but 3 times x and 4 times 4 times x 4 times x and we have to add them right here this x and this x are same so this expression can be written as 3 plus 4 times x, isn't it? We have just seen it in distributive property, right? Which is, is equal to 3 plus 4, 7 times x, which is nothing but 7x. So what we have learnt in addition of like terms. In addition of like terms, like terms means the terms which have same variable part, we can right away add their constant parts. Like in 3x we have constant part 3 and in 4x the constant part is 4. So 3x plus 4x will be nothing but 3 plus 4 times x which is 7x. So 3x plus 4x will be equal to 7x. So what is the addition of like terms? If we are adding two like terms, we can straight away add their constant coefficients, coefficients, constant part constant multiple okay in this case it is 4 4 and 3 so 3x plus 4x is equal to 3 plus 4 which is 7 x okay so let's see a few more examples of addition of like terms so as we can see here we have this 5y and 6y. These two are like terms. So if we add 5y to 6y, this will be equal to 5 plus 6y, which is nothing but 11y. So 5y plus 6y is equal to 5 plus 6, 5 plus 6 which is 11 times y. Now if we add, we have two more like terms, 8x and 9y, 8xy and 9xy. So 8 x y plus 9 x y will be equal to see here x y and x y this part is variable right so this will be written as 8 plus 9 times x y which is equal to 8 plus 9, 
x, y. Right? So this was the addition of like terms. Now let's talk about addition of unlike terms. Okay? So what is unlike term? What are unlike terms? Let's do take any two unlike terms like 3x and add it to one more unlike term 9 times x y this is called these are called unlike terms why because the variable part is different in the first term the variable part is x and in the second term the variable part is x y yeah, as we have already talked in earlier video, though it has x in the second term, but this x is not alone. It is along with another variable, which is y, right? The total variable part in the second term is x, y. So these two are not like terms. They are unlike terms, right? 3x and 9y are unlike terms. So, how do we write their addition? So, we have to write, we write it as it is. The sum of 3x and 9xy will be written as 3x and 9xy itself. There is one more way to write this sum. What is this 3x? 3x is 3 times x and this 9xy can be written as 9 is written, right? 9 can be written as 3 times 3. xy can be written as multiplied by x and multiplied by y. Now, if we look at this expression carefully, we can take this 3 and this 3 as common. Okay. This x and this x are also common. So we can write it as 3x as common. And inside bracket, we can write this whole expression we have taken as common. So we are left with only 1. We are taking at co as common. That means this multiplied by 1 will give us 3x. So, if we are taking 3x as common, this will leave 1 behind inside the bracket. Plus, this 3 is left here and this y is also left over here. Right? So, 3x plus 9xy can be written as it is, can be left as it is. Or if you want to write it in another form, you can take 3x as common, which will leave 1 plus 3y inside the bracket. And you can write it as 3x multiplied by 1 plus 3y. Okay, so this is the addition of unlike terms.